let's just talk about the accomplishment of a building, a facility like this. What does that mean to you? This uh, building that we're dedicating today at Auburn University, it, it means a lot, not just to the students who will study here, but to the teachers who will teach here, the researchers that will do basic research here, but the products that will come out of this. Uh, this is a world-class uh, uh, facility, something we have needed in Alabama a long time, and Auburn's our largest engineering uh, school uh, in the state, and I think it's fitting uh, that we do it here. But math, science, and engineering is very important. This is an integral part of it, uh, and this is, this is a great day, a new day for Alabama. It will reverberate in the future with our children and our grandchildren and our economy. Um, I guess, have you been monitoring the progress of the building and are you happy with how fast it's coming along? Uh, I was here at the groundbreaking. I was here last fall uh, uh, on the day of a football game. I won't talk about that. <laughs> and uh, uh, went through the building. I, I, this, this is a beautiful structure. Uh, it's, it's well thought out. And this is phase one. Phase two, as you know, of the, uh, will start probably sometime this year as soon as they can, I think, get some classes finished and tear down those buildings behind it. But I believe the, the addition to Auburn University is, is it, it's, I monitor it, sure. Uh, it, it's just a great addition to the state, to this university. And uh, I, I like what the architects have done. It's, I think it's a great rendering. I, I guess, uh, Senator, how do you feel about it being named after yourself? Because I presume you didn't try to acquire $60 million for Auburn University specifically for them to name Well, we've after. gotten Auburn a lot more money than $60 million. You know, we, I think we've That's gotten true. them way over $100 million. And it's, uh, you know, we had no idea that, that uh, uh, the trustees would uh, vote to name a building for me and my wife. Uh, it's a great honor, uh, probably one I don't deserve, but uh, we're here today to, but it's not who it's named for, it's not what, how it's built, it's what comes out of it, and that's the product, the student, and the research. One more then. Uh, challenges engineers will face in the future, facilities like this will equip them. So as you think about generations and future children coming to school here, what implications does that have for you? Well, it, I th what I'm trying to do here and, and, and around the state at our other schools is uh, put the emphasis on bringing money for math, science, and engineering, brick and mortar programs, because it will make a difference. Science and math and engineering drive our economy, drive our job prospects, will drive the competition uh, in the world in the future as we compete with giants like China and India and the rest of Europe and the world. Uh, without engineering facilities like this, we probably would not have the products of tomorrow or the students to think them up uh, and to operate them and so forth. This is, has to be a must for our state.